Welcome to the warm-up problem set for many to many relationships. Let us first start by using the classic models database. We type in use classic models. And once you have used the classic models database, please pause this video and attempt the following four queries. Hopefully you've been successfully able to attempt the queries. Let's get started and take a look at the solutions. The first query uh, asks you to list the order number, the order status, and the product names of products in the order. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is that in the classic models database, we have a many-to-many -many relationship. Let us take a look at the many-to-many -many relationship in the classic models database. In front of you, you see the classic models data model. In this data model, we have two entities, the orders entity and the product entity that have a many-to-many -many relationship. We can see that order number, that is the primary key of orders, is a foreign key in order details. We also see that product code, which is the primary key of products, is a foreign key in order details. We also see that the composite primary key in order details is a combination of order number and product code. So another way to read this is that an order can have many products and a product can be on many orders, giving you a many to many relationship between orders and products, resulting in the creation of an associative entity, specifically order details that has uh, a few other attributes such as quantity ordered, price of each and order line number in it. So let us go back to the following question. To list the order number, the order status, and the number of product, and the product names of products in the order, we say select from orders joined to the order details table. On orders dot order number is equal to order details dot order number. This is then joined to the products table on order details dot product code is equal to products dot product code. We would like to select the order number and I'm going to preface order number with orders dot just because order number exists in both orders and order details the order status and this I can just say status because status is the only col uh, column that has that name in the three tables and the product name. This gives us the following result. In the next query we are asked to list the customer name, order number and the product names of products in the order. In this case, we don't have uh, a simple uh, three tables. We in fact have four tables. Since we want customer name, we want the customer name from the customers table. We want order number and we can grab it either from the orders table or the order details table. And then we have product name in the products table. In this query, I'm going to be joining four tables with three joins. So I shall say select from customers joined to orders joined to order details joined to products now I just put the template in place I've got to remember the on clauses on customers dot customer number is equal to orders dot customer number on orders dot order number is equal to order details dot order number trend products on product dot product code is equal to order details dot product code 
I've been asked to list the customer name, order number, and the product name, giving me the following result. The third query asks you to list the order number, the order date, and the average MSRP of products on the order and the average price at which those products were sold, i.e. the price of each in the order. And so we have to list the order number from orders, the order date also from the uh, order table. We want the average price of each and we want the average MSRP. So I shall select from the orders table, joined to the order details table, joined to the products table. Orders order details joined on orders dot order number is equal to order details dot order number. Join product on order details dot product code is equal to products dot product code. In this case, I want to list the order number, the order date, the average MSRP of products on the order, and the average price at which these products are sold. Since I want it for every order, I would say group by order number. And I see an unknown column order. I have a mis spelling mistake. There we go. If you get rid of it, this works. And so I say the average MSRP of products on the order, and I see the average price of each the price at which they were sold. The full query asks us to list the country of the customer, the number of different products that have been shipped to customers from that country, and the number of orders placed by customers from that country. So let's take a look and try to write this query out. We want to select from you know, the country of the customer, so we need the customer's table involved joined obviously to the orders table and lastly joined to the order details table the reason we are joining to the order details table will become uh, clear in just a second uh, customers join to orders on customers dot customer number is equal to orders dot customer number orders join to order details on orders dot order number is equal to order details dot order number. Now, the reason we are joining it to order details because you will see that in the order details table, we have the product code column. The product code column, if we count that, we can count the number of different products, allowing me to list the country of the customer, a count of distinct values of product code, from the order details table and a count of orders dot order number from the orders table. Since I want this aggregation to be performed for a country, I should say group by country, giving me the following result. The number of different products ordered from customers in Australia, Austria, so on and so forth, and the number of different orders placed by customers in those countries. Now, uh, we're going to have one problem over here. The one problem in this query right now is that these numbers seem kind of large. In fact, we don't have 314 orders uh, at all. And why is the reason that we have 1,004 orders for the USA when we don't actually have 1,004 orders? The reason for that is that orders is present multiple times in the order details table, a one-to-many relationship. And so order number is repeating. And because order number is repeating, we've got to type in distinct orders and order number. 
And so we have a better count of the number of orders that were placed by customers in this country. This concludes the warm-up set of queries associated with the many-to-many -many relationship. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.